Sons of the Forest has been out a while now, I've done every guide under the sun, but what order do you complete stuff? I want to show you today. Hopefully, if you're fairly new to the game, this will help you out. I'm not going to give you complete details about going through each one of these locations, just a rough overview of what to expect in terms of the items you'll find and how to progress, what ones you should be doing in what order. Bearing in mind, this doesn't include any glitches or cheats. And then I will give you rough locations of pretty much the most important weapons and equipment pieces that you'll need if you want to experience more of Sons of the Forest and stay longer than the story. If you find it useful, do leave a like and let's go. So purely for progression, you need to get to the beach with the cave on it. This is going to be the first one that you should be completing to go ahead and get the rebreather. You can't really miss it as you're looking on GPS, it'll be the only cave icon on the beach. Obviously you've got a chance of spawning right next to this cave, otherwise you will have to trek here from other places. Inside you will eventually go through the cave and you'll get hold of the stun gun as well as the rebreather. In the first two weeks of launch there was a bug that was spawning way too many of the creepies in this cave making it incredibly tough, so it should be reduced now, you won't find as many. Additionally, make sure you swim across or glide across to the bay as this is where you're going to be able to pick up the machete and also a save point. Now it could be argued that you could do with getting the rebreather second, in the actual fact you could head to this cave here where you're going to find a whole bunch of again more creepies but more importantly this is where you get the rope gun. But I consider this the second hardest cave or area that you're going to be exploring, hence why I'm doing it in this order. Some key things to note, you need to pick up the cross that is also in this cave as this will be super useful for the end dungeon. This particular cave is filled with pretty much all the varieties of mutants that you'll come across in the game, bar John which seems to be only running around the open world later on. It's an extremely long process going through this particular cave, there's a whole bunch of different areas and there was a ton again of the creepies, another problem with over glitching or over spawning of some of them. There's a few bits of lore in this cave as well and obviously lots of resources but that's pretty much it. Use the rope gun to make your escape down the rope and out of the cave. Again, it's also worth noting that just outside this cave, you will find the stun baton, so you can pick that up as an early weapon without actually going into the cave just yet. So now you've got the rope gun and the rebreather, you can go ahead and get the shovel. Incidentally, just outside this cave, you will also find the slingshot. So have a good look around, it should be close to the bodies. So you can't access this cave without the actual rope gun, and then you'll immediately need the rebreather to go exploring in the water. Again, you get a good selection of all the different enemies in here, and it is quite tough towards the end. But at the very end, you will come across the shovel. You can't actually exit out the way you came, or not meant to anyway, you're meant to kill Sluggy here and escape that way. So with the shovel, you'll now be able to head over to Maintenance A, which is pretty much a dirt patch that you'll find over to the west of the mountains if you're looking north. Can't miss it, it is marked out by a green circle. Inside you'll pick up the maintenance A keycard and this is one of the keycards you'll need to go ahead and complete the game later. The fire axe and the laser attachment are both here too. So if you're following the story, you do need to head to this point here and we're going to be going into the cave where the kitchen is because this will now open up the doorway and you'll be able to progress to eventually the mini boss fight they've just added in the most recent patch. I'm not going to spell the boss fight, but eventually though, just before it, you will come into a security room and be able to pick up a key card that belongs to Virginia. You basically swim through some flooded areas before going into the office and picking it up. Now I have to admit, I haven't tested it out thoroughly, but I do believe that maintenance key card won't be enough to get you into the last door, you will need Virginia's card. And likewise, I do believe you need Virginia's card to get through that doorway too. You'll also find in this area, obviously, the crossbow. So now technically there is only one more item you need to complete the game. If you head over to the southeast near the large lake to the bunk entrance here, just south of the cave, that cave hasn't got much in it at all so don't waste your time, but you can go through here and this is where you're going to pick up the katana and the golden suit. This is effectively one of the last dungeons that you'll take part in, so there are a bunch of different enemies and a new enemy that you may not have come across before. You also get the opportunity to pick up another pistol, so make sure you leave your pistol back at home or with Virginia if you really want, and another putter. The golden suit though is exactly what you need to complete the game, you will not be able to complete it unless you're doing some weird glitch, which I think they've patched now where you could get through the doors with just a stick. 
Also before leaving make sure you pick up the golden mask that's in the morgue as it's right by the exit point. Eventually I'm guessing this is going to be more useful, at the moment the masks are kind and not that great when you try and deal with cannibals. So to complete the game you need to head all the way over to the east coast to this green marker here and you can't really miss it. From what I can tell you do need both key cards. you need the maintenance key card and Virginia's key card to be able to access this bunker. There are no enemies in the early stages of it where you go through just the living quarters and stuff so don't worry too much unless things change. You will however come across a shotgun and a bunch of ammo so again leave a shotgun with Virginia so you can pick up a second one. You'll put on the golden armour, or you don't even have to, as long as you interact with the door, it'll put it on for you, and you gain access to pretty much hell. I'm not going to show the ending in this one, or too much of what to expect, but it's a very long path, and this is where you may want to try experiment using the cross, and just make sure you've saved in the human area before you've ventured in here. That's it, that's the game complete. Here's some more additional items that you may want to think about getting. You'll find the compound bow at the maintenance B bunker, which is all the way to the south of the island. This is where you'll also find a silencer attachment too. Should go without saying, you need the shovel before you can get this. The pistol you'll find towards the west coast, just inside the life raft. Be warned, it's guarded by some sharks, but you should be able to swim over and back again without too much trouble. This is where you can see the GPS locator marked on the map. I picked this up in the first two days using the glider star at the mountains and obviously you'll be able to get here much quicker if you spawned on the beach or in the jungle. You'll find the chainsaw and the guitar in the entertainment bunker complex which is in the 3D printer cave that you can pretty much get access to pretty easily but you can't get through the doors until much later when you get the maintenance keycard. So the bunker entrance is just north of the cave just here. The chainsaw is right at the end of this pretty much bunker and you'll find the guitar on the bar as you go through. A fair few creepies including a twins but not as tough as some of the other places. You'll also come across a guest keycard. At the moment the maintenance keycard is higher ranked so it doesn't really see what the point is of the guest card just yet. I'm guessing it will be for later use. Although I do believe you can use it to open up a small little side office where you can get some more lore beats. You can go back out the way you came, or if you actually go via the back exit, the caves, this is always a sneaky way that you can get in using the rope gun too. It takes a bit of jigging, but I've shown you guys a little guide on how you can access and get the chainsaw much earlier without having to wait until you get the keycard. To the northeast, you'll find the golf courses. You can find putters here, but more importantly, maintenance C. And inside, you'll find the revolver. Some other things to note, you'll find the tactical axe here at a campsite with a bunch of the tents. It's right below the cliffs where you'll find one of the first GPS locators, where you'll also find the torchlight. Either cut the guy hanging from up top or fire an arrow and get him down that way. The shotgun is one of the best and most powerful weapons in the game, and obviously you can't get it until you get the shovel. Once you've got the shovel, you'll find it on this location all the way here. Once again, marked by a GPS locator, so you cannot miss it. Incidentally, if you want the can openers, there's a bunch of places they spawn. You've got one at the beach spawn, directly on the edge of the water, you'll find some more supplies. And you'll also find one near the spawn in the mountains, just by the frozen lake near the cave, just above you. And there may even be one near the actual forest spawn, near one of the first caves that you find there too. There's a bunch of attachments you can find. If you want this pistol silencer as well as the rail for it, you can find it here. You also get a rail when you finally get the pistol at the actual life raft. When you swim back to shore, you should find a dead body and you'll find one there too. And finally, on the west coast near the kayaks, this is where you're going to find the binoculars. It's just on the inlet, you can't really miss it. But that's pretty much it. That's the most important stuff and a few extras for good measure. Hopefully that's helped you out. If it has, leave a like. Check out the rest of the individual guides for more help if you really want it. And hopefully it's giving you a taste of what to expect. Until next time, Rat Bags, I'll catch you later.